Good morning. Welcome back to the garden. Today is Sunday, February 7th. It's a little chilly out here today. Forecast says we're not going to be able to plant for at least a week and a half, maybe two weeks, just to be safe. We've got this horrible cold front coming through. So when you can't plant, what do you do? You spread mulch. Now, if you remember back in September, we took a look at how you start a deep mulch weed-free garden. We just started piling grass up, letting it start to break down. Then in October, right after we finished the sweet potato harvest, we added a bunch more leaves and grass. The piles here have shrunk down. And now that we have the greenhouse up, we know where we're gonna move the fence to. We're just about ready to spread this out. Now the principle is gonna be the same. We're just gonna take this and spread it out across here. Maybe add a little more. This area right through here will be our roost out potato patch this year. So all we got to do is just a little spreading out and getting some fence in. I have noticed the last couple days our armadillo has been helping us around the edges. And this is a foot and a half tall right here. I mean basically, I mean all we're going to do is just spread this out. Get this evened up. As we're turning this, you can see it's breaking down, it's turning dark, we've got some mold going. This is the cold compost. We're not in a hurry. This has been sitting here a while. It's been breaking down. It's been doing its thing. You can see the armadillo friend has been out here. He doesn't know it's a no-till. He's been turning it up a little bit. I do need to get this fence moved here directly. After I thought about getting another bale of hay, I'd mention to my neighbor that he owed me one. And lo and behold, he dropped it off right here in front of the garden. Now what am I going to do with that? Let's see how well, I mean it doesn't roll very easy. This thing's a little heavier than it looks. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. If I can get this thing balanced up on my shoulder, we ought to be okay. Where'd my boot go? Well, that wasn't a very good idea. Here, let's try this. I hope the handle of this pitchfork can take this kind of weight. Oh, this ain't so bad. This ain't so bad. It's a good, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Well, we got it this far. I actually left this like this on purpose. It makes cutting the strings a lot easier. And since we're not feeding cattle, I don't have to get it in a cattle feeder of any kind. My orientation really doesn't matter. But this way I can unwind it. I don't have to unroll it. Actually for one person it's easier to unwind than to unroll. Go ahead and get this cut open. Let's get some pieces pulled off and laid out across the garden. And I'm going to need to go in and get a cup of coffee. It is cold out here. Where you cut, you usually you can start this thing. And that's the kind of bale we want to see with the dust and the mold. You just pull off big pieces, lay them out. As the pieces come on, you just, just get it out, get it spread out. But if you can find some chunks as they come off in pieces, Where it's thin, just get it laid out. Then once you get it down to a manageable size, just finish rolling it out. That's all there is to it. Just keep spreading out the organic matter. 
As you follow the progress of this garden, you'll see just how fast this stuff breaks down. You see how deep that is? That is grass and leaves. I'm going to go ahead and spread that out on top of this hay. I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to let that rest a little bit. Just remember, it is a mixture. It's leaves, it's grass, it's wood chips, it's old hay and straw, it's cut and drop, it's the kitchen scraps, it's old newspaper, shredded up regular white paper, and compost all mixed together. No real order as long as it's laid on top four inches thick or thicker. Now remember it's got to be four inches thick or thicker to stop the weeds. Then you scrape that back you get to the soil. You dig the smallest hole you can to plant whatever you're planting. A deep mulch weed free garden is a continuing process and when it's too cold to plant what do you do? You string hay. We still have everything buttoned up it's too cold to open them up. I do want to thank you for stopping by the garden on this cold day. Continuing to build the deep mulch, it's an ongoing process. You just keep adding. And I keep falling back on what Ruth Stout said when they asked her, how much do you put down? And she said more. I just put down some more. And we're going to add some more later. Ooh, that sounds good. I'm going to go in the house and make us some more. Now, if you're in the path of this cold weather, make sure your hoses are unhooked. Besides that, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.